I first came across the heart maps when I was looking at trying to put together an outreach project. So I used the heart maps to have a look at what was happening across Queensland as far as all cardiac admissions and then try and identify some areas that we would need to provide services to. Patients are suffering quite badly from cardiovascular disease in the state of Queensland. When you look at all cardiac admissions, secondary to the Northern Territory, we're probably the worst state as far as having admissions for heart disease, so it's affecting us significantly. The heart mates are very useful because you can actually have a look at, from a high statistical data analysis, where the hotspots are across Queensland, and we can identify where we have current services and where we have lack of services. And then you can drill down to the specific details of what's the socioeconomic area, what's the population area, and what's their risk, and then you can put all of that data together and overlay it with other data points that are a bit more specific to HHSs, and that can give you some really good information about where you need to provide services. The data from the heart maps I actually used in a report that I wrote around what a model of care would look like from a hub and spoke cardiac outreach service across Queensland. And that was circulated through the statewide cardiac clinical network to a lot of the cardiologists around the state. And as a result of that, they've actually been referring to the heart maps and actually going in and having a look at their specific area. So a lot of the cardiologists had found that the data they can generate from that, they can use to actually go and benchmark with and also to actually talk to their executive about providing other services for cardiovascular disease. So some of the cardiologists have found it extremely useful. If we decide to put together a comprehensive outreach service, which is what I was looking at, a cardiac outreach service, then we can actually go back in 12 months time and have a look to see if we've actually changed any of the impact that um, cardiovascular disease is having in Queensland. It's a great investment from the National Heart Foundation's perspective. The heart maps have enabled me to compile a comprehensive report. I already had access to high level data that was already analysed in the heart maps and it made my job much easier so that we could provide comprehensive outreach models for patients across Queensland.